Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra and in this video I am going to show you how to use Microsoft Office for free in this tablet. So let's start. So guys, first of all, you have to change your browser settings. So I will open Samsung Internet Browser and here I will select this Tools option. Inside the Tools option, I will select this Internet Settings. Inside the Internet Settings, here is the option of Web Page View and Scrolling. Just select it. Once you open the Web Page View and Scrolling, at bottom you see this option of Show Desktop Sites. So you have to enable this option and then you have to open a website name of the website is office.com so I will open this website so guys this office.com is the Microsoft official website for Microsoft Office so first of all I have to select this sign in option and it will ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account if you do not have Microsoft account you can create a free account by selecting this create one option and then you can enter your email ID and you can easily create your Microsoft account. I already have my Microsoft account so I will enter my details here. After signing in, here is the dashboard for Microsoft Office web version. If I select these dots from here, it will show you all the apps that are available. So you can see we have Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, we have OneNote, we have OneDrive. So all the different apps are showing here. So first of all, I will select Microsoft Excel. It will open the Excel in a new tab. So here is the dashboard for Excel. So you can see we have different templates available first of all I will select new blank workbook so it will open the excel sheets with all the different tools that are available for web version so here you can see we have this excel so you can see we have this home tab insert we have draw page layout formulas so we have different formulas option available now I will show you how you can bring data from internet into your excel sheet so I will take out this edge panel and then I will open this internet browser in split screen so here you can see I open this website and here I have this data that I want in my excel so I will use my S pen and then I will start selecting this data so I will select till here now it is showing me different options on top so I will select this copy option now this data is copied now on your excel sheet just double tap it like this and it will open the keyboard so now what you can do is just press and hold on the cells where you want to paste this data so I will start selecting these cells now what you can do is just select this control V option and it will paste the data for you. So here you can see I copy this data from here and the data is available here. If you want to edit this data you can also do it inside your Excel. The next thing is you can also use your S Pen inside the Excel and it will convert it into a neat number or a neat text. For example I will write here a number to 34 so here you can see it will convert it into the number you can also bring your excel work into your notes as well so i will take out this edge panel and then i will open the samsung notes in split screen now for example i want this data into my notes i will use the smart select tool so here is the smart select and then i will start selecting this data from my excel sheet and now i will use my s pen i will press and hold it it like this and I can easily drag into my notes so here you can see all the data that I select it is now available in my notes and later if I want I can use the highlighter if I want to highlight something if I want to write something I can use it once you finish with your excel work you can also export it as pdf so just select this file option from here and then you see this option of export just select it once you select it here you see this option of download as pdf so I will select this download as pdf option and here it is giving me the option 
of download PDF. So I will just select it. So here you can see you can give it any name and then select this download. So it will download it as PDF inside your device. The next thing is if you want to download a copy of your Excel, you can also do it. Just select this file option from here and then you see this option of save as and then here you see this option of download a copy. The next thing is your work will automatically save into Microsoft OneDrive. So Microsoft OneDrive is a free cloud storage that gives you 5 GB of storage. If you want extra storage, you have to buy it. So if you want to access your Microsoft OneDrive, you select these dots from here, then select this OneDrive and it will open the Microsoft OneDrive dashboard and here you have all your work available. Now let's open Microsoft PowerPoint. So here is the PowerPoint. It will open in a new tab. So here you can see we have different templates available. I will select a new blank presentation and it will show you all the different tools that are available for PowerPoint web version. So here you can see we have this home tab. Then we have this insert tab. Then we have this draw option. So if you want to use your pen, you can also do it. We have design, different design options are available for different templates templates so we have different design also available here as well now for example if you want to use this draw tab you can use your s pen to write anything on your slide so for example i want to write here i can easily write if i want to use this highlighter i can also use this highlighter you can also use your s pen to move slides in powerpoint presentations for example i select this present option and then it will open the slide now the next thing is I will use my S Pen button and I will press it two times like this and it will change the slide for me. So for example, if I do it again, you can see it will move to the next slide. The next thing is you can also use your S Pen as a laser pointer inside your presentation. So for example, if I select this pen option, so here you can see the first option is laser pointer. So just select it. Now you can highlight anything important in your slide. So here you can see if I want to highlight something, I can do it. If you want to use your pen to write something, you can also do it. So here is the pen option. Now if I want to write anything, I can write inside my slide. You can also open another office app in split screen. For example, here is my Excel sheet. I will press and hold it like this and then I select this option of open in other window. So once I select it, it will open this Excel sheet in split screen. So here I can work on both of these office apps together. So here is my PowerPoint and here is my Excel sheet. I can also share data between these two apps. You can also share your PowerPoint PowerPoint presentations with your friends or with your colleagues. Just select this option and then select this share. It will create a link for you and then you can send that link. You can also customize the sharing options. Just select this pen icon from here. So here you can select the scan edit option or can view option. Now let's talk about Microsoft Word. So I will open this word. So here is the dashboard with different templates. I will select a new blank document and then it will show you all the different tools for the web version for Microsoft Word. So here you can see we have this file home insert tab we have layout references and then it will also show you different designer templates on this side so here you can see we have resume letter cover letter general so different options are available for the templates the next thing is you can also bring any data from another app into your microsoft word for example i will take out this edge panel i will open this notion app in the split screen now for example i want to copy this data into my word so now I will start selecting it so for example I will select this line and then I will copy it now I will just close it and I will just double tap on my word and it will open the keyboard now I will select Control V and it will paste all the data that I copy from the notion app once you finish with your work, you can download it as PDF as well. Just select this file and then select this save as option. So here you can see I can download it as PDF and I can also download a copy.
The next thing is you can also use other apps. Just select this apps option. And for example, if you want to use it for note taking, you can use Microsoft OneNote. You can also use Microsoft Designer if you want to create different type of designs. So guys, this web based version of Office will also be helpful if you want to make any purchasing decision. So you can test different tools using this web version. So guys, this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.